Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 132. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> if you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Time zones are technically like geography and shit, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not just mixing it up with something else. <laughs> oh, that's fucking brilliant. Oh! Okay, that was completely my fault. I lost control of the front of the car as I was accelerating. Brilliant. Yeah. That was not too bad, though. And if your buddy go and stiff on your spine going numb. Uh, so this is an R R2 category race, which GT1 cars go up to R2. Um, falls are things. But yeah, this is a GT1 car. Uh, most of those cars are GT1. There's some GT2s and some GT... Uh, I don't think there's GT3s in this. I think it's just GT1 and GT2. And then in the R3, there's like a mix of GT... 3 and GT 2s. The class system is strange. But uh, it makes more sense when you add in like normal road cars, but it's very... There's barely any road cars that actually get into those higher tiers anyways, so it's kind of pointless. Makes no sense. Better than Group 1 in GT7. Honestly, Group 1 is strange. Like, they have... I'm, I'm not a fan with, of how Gran Turismo does stuff. Alright, not bad. Tarantula. And if your body going stiff and your spine going numb. Oh, shit balls. I didn't break early enough, but it's fine. We can get a bit of gravel in the wheel well. It's all good in the hood. Yeah. I'll be honest, that Alfa Romeo, um, the old school DTM car, the Dutch touring cars. Um, that old school Alfa Romeo is so overpowered in Group 4. It's unreal. And it's still overpowered today. But when it first came out, it was like so overpowered that the people that got it... Because it, it was only sold for a couple of days. But the people that got it and then started using it were like, wow. This is insane. Because it's four-wheel drive as well. So you've got a really insanely powerful car. That's got su superb cornering ability. I've obviously never won a GT7 race or a GT Sport race. Never won. But my best results have always been because of that Alpha. Because it is crazy. Yeah, it weighs literally nothing. Tarantula.
Chat, the simp boss is at two uh, 6,200 health. We've got to get rid of the simp boss. They have been simp boss for too long. Group 4 is only alphas. Group 3 mainly 911s and very few other picks. Group 2 CLK versus GTR. GT500. And Group 1 is just 990. Yeah, exactly. Bang, bang. Oh my god! What do you mean? I really, really, really love... I'm not sure what that Corvette is, because the C8 is the new one. The C7 is the one from 2013, correct? They made another Corvette in 2019. It didn't look like the C7, so I thought it was the C8. And then the C8 got announced, which completely confused me. It's in Forza Horizon 4. It was one of the um, Season Pass cars. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it, it didn't look like the C7. I don't know. It, it might have, and I was just being dumb, but it was a really nice Corvette in uh, Forza Horizon 4, and I fucking use it so much because it was so good. I don't know if I'd be able to tell you what the car is without checking on a website, so... Because the new C8 is hybrid, isn't it? It's so electric and petrol. Right? Or is it C9? Or am I getting confused? I don't know, Corvettes confuse me. The naming scheme's weird. C8 is engine only. Have they made the C9 yet? There is no C9, so the C8 is the one that's out right now. I was 99% sure that they made a hybrid version of that. Or is the C9 the one that... Ah, oh, I'm confused. See, I'm confused because there's so many different Corvettes that have come out. And it's just like... Make your damn mind up. <laughs> I personally am not a fan of the latest Corvette. I'm not a fan of how it looks. Um, I very much preferred the C7. But that one that they made in 2019, the one with the body kit and everything. I will try and find it. I thought there was five cars announced on that screenshot. But the fact that the Chiron's coming... Wait, did you... The GTAM's coming to Gran Turismo. Are you telling me it's coming to Gran Turismo? Are you confirming that? Because I am about to get a, a, a man very... This, that sounds bad. <laughs> Sinsu will literally bust one live on stream. <laughs> if I tell him that the GTAM is going to be in... 
fucking Gran Turismo and it doesn't turn up, he will kill me. I need you to find the screenshot. I need you to find anything. Just send it to me on Discord so I can send this to Sinsu. <laughs> he is going to reinstall, like, Gran Turismo 7 right away as soon as I tell him that. He will go fucking nuts. I love the GTA M as well, to be fair. I think it's a beautiful car. But, like... Sinsu absolutely loves it to the point like he would sell both of his kidneys if he was offered an Alfa Romeo GTA M. He, he would sell both of his kidneys. I can guarantee you it. Like, I would sell both of my kidneys for a Bugatti Veyron quite easily. I love the car. He would sell both of his kidneys just for an Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA M. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't ideal. Have they fixed the bug on GT7 where the braking line is broken on this track? That left left right section that we just went through is completely broken on GT7. Like it will tell you to brake just way too late in any car that you're ever in. It's so broken. I really hope they fix that, because that is like. Yeah, I, I have to use the brake markers. As you can tell, I'm using them here as well, so. Alright. Let's have a look and see this car, because if, if, if it... I should, after this race, probably check on the dog. Make sure the dog is fine. The woof woof. Boy, I'm all cried out. Over you. Over you. It's such a tune. Is the C7 ZR1 in GT7? I haven't seen the 2019 one in GT7. I told you, Xena. <laughs> Welcome back, Sinsu. They finally added the GTA M. <laughs> God damn. Hello, my brother. Welcome to the stream. Sinsu has been waiting for this day for ages. <laughs> I was like, S Sinsu's going to have an absolute moment. As soon as he finds out that. But I'm, I'm sort of very happy because the Chiron is actually being part of Gran Turismo now, which is... I don't even understand why it wasn't part of GT7 from the start, to be perfectly honest. But... Do you know what? Maybe I'm... Just because the GTA M and the Chiron are going to be in there, I may reinstall Gran Turismo for a short while. And sort out all the updates on my PS5. When's the update? The 12th. So that's Monday, right? Because tomorrow's the 11th. Yeah, so Monday. Gran Turismo stream next Saturday, chat. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, why did your brain say the 7th? It's the 10th today. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw the 12th on there. Oh, next Thursday. I, th I saw the 12th. Since just put in DMs. 
earlier. Ayo, what? I'm about to cream. <laughs> God, I'm about to fucking cringe. Oh yeah, Sinsu, if you make a video on it, let me know. This is Rev banging the absolute ass off this car. Let's go. Crawling back to you. Yeah, it says December the 12th. Oh, it says arrive in the week commencing December the 12th, which is, yeah, next week. But it doesn't say it's actually going to be on December the 12th. Well, still, if we do it on Saturday, the update will definitely be out by then. So we can do that. Right, let's focus on actually driving now. It, uh, when is the 25th anniversary finishing? Is it when this update comes out? Because if so, I'll have to get the game out earlier then. Ugh. I didn't do my 25th anniversary stuff. Fuck. Maybe I'm too... This is the one thing I, again, is another point why I hate live service in this multiplayer stuff. And sure, if you if you can do it for me, I'm, I won't mind. <laughs> uh, it's one of the reasons why I hate this. I mean, you you probably would like to do some stuff on my account just because you'll get an easier lobby. <laughs> like you'll have easy as fuck lobbies, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Move your tit. Puss your fam. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't care. I, I, I really have not played online much at all. <laughs> and if I desperately wanted to play online, I'd just make a second account. Like, I play most of my Gran Turismo stuff offline. Or in lobbies. Like, I, I very rarely go into the sport mode. Do, 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 do. Plus, the level will come down eventually anyways, wouldn't it? Yeah. Lobbies are pretty good, though, in Gran Turismo now. I might only record two videos today, chat. Oh, you ball bag. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I've just spun my car around twice. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do, um... Two videos, so I'm gonna record this race, the next one, and then I'll end the stream there for today. Yeah, nice driving. Um, but next week, I'll try and push to do 12 videos. I've still got a backlog anyways. I've still got about... Well, two weeks of content. 
As long as I get at least eight recorded in a week and eight edited, then that means I'll always be adding to the backlog. I won't be losing videos in my backlog, so ten means I've added three for next week. Because I, I edit all my videos on Sunday now, which is why if anyone joins as a channel member, you'll only get access to the content on Sunday. But that means that if your membership runs out, you won't lose it until the next Sunday. So, you know, you get extra time both ways. You might not get your early access straight away, but you get it extra time afterwards. So, it's a win-win, really. 10 minus 8 equals 3. Mech maths. No, so, here's the thing, right? The minimum for me to make is 8 to add to the backlog. Right, if I make 8 in a week, that's a good week. That's, like, my minimum. If I make 10... That means I get three extra videos because there's seven days in a week. So, ten minus seven equals three. Real maths. <laughs> I didn't really explain my thinking very well. I, I just, my brain is like, I need a minimum of eight. Anything above that is a bonus, really. No, seven will keep it the same, but eight keeps keeps my backlog going up so if I do eight it means I get an extra video the only thing is I have to do if I keep doing like eight videos a week then my backlog I'll only get an extra week of videos over seven weeks it will take me seven weeks to get an extra week of backlog so that's why I would prefer to keep like, next week, I will definitely have to do 12 videos just because I want to have enough that I can go to the middle of January and not worry. Um, so, next week, I definitely have to record 12 videos as a minimum. Well, the minimum is still 8, but... Like, I'm aiming for 12. I want 12. Because then that's almost an extra week of backlog. That's five days of backlog. The backlog is important when you're producing so much content every day, though. Where did you fuck off to? The Julia ain't in the game yet. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, a little bit slippy. I gotta complete the Fate of Atlantis DLC as well on Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so I gotta start that tonight. Tomorrow is tidy up day, so I've gotta do some cleaning. Then I've gotta edit. Then I'll probably stream and then render my videos after I've streamed. Cutting the chicken very aggressively there. What do you mean? Oh, the chicane! Is that what you're uh, cutting the chicken? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Took a while for me to get that one. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the chicken. Joe, you know I'm gonna call them chickens from now on. I'm gonna call them chickens. <laughs> Is this technically a chicken? Because it goes left and then right. <laughs> the chicken of death at Dragon Trail. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my life, I've been searching for something. Something never comes, never leaves for nothing. Nothing satisfies, but I'm getting close. <gasps> Closer to the prize at the end of the road. Are you here?
Right, ready for the chicken cutting masterclass. <laughs> Right, ready, 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 ready. Cut the chicken. Cut the chicken. Nice. <laughs> Who needs chickens anyways? What the fuck? Oh my god. Yo, should I make that into like merch? Like cut the chicken? <laughs> cut the chicken merch. <laughs> That'd be fucking brilliant. Keeping me down. That would be fucking hilarious, though. Oh, one more race. I'll be totally honest. I don't think there is any way in hell that uh, I'll be able to record four videos today. So. Because I need to feed the dog at 10. I could get three videos done, but then that leaves me with an odd number of videos and it will really piss me off. <laughs> shake that ass for me. Oh, go shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Come on, go shake that ass for me. I'm a menace, a Dennis, a Florida a Genesis. I don't know. <laughs> I get the lyrics mixed up very often with Eminem. Don't jerk the dog. That's such a weird, weird saying. Get fucked up. <laughs> Don't jerk the dog. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Well, that, that is a lady dog, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Shaking that ass on the floor, bumping and grinding that pole. Get fucked up. Right, that's our first lap done. We have six more to go. Should I add some Akon to this playlist? Not gonna lie. Already do! <laughs> Smack that all on the floor. Smack that to you get sore. I think that's all I have to It's fucking tune though. Absolute banger tune. That's like the only song though from Akon that I will be like. That is fucking amazing. Everything else is just, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Most of Akon songs are what I call drunk tunes, where you have to be drunk to want to sing them and think they're, like, amazing. Like, most of my music that I listen to aren't drunk tunes, to the point that if I was drunk, I probably wouldn't listen to them. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't heard that one. Wasn't it Akon that did that song with um, uh, the bloke from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Um, what was the song called? Oh, what was the fucking song called? I just had sex and it felt so good. <laughs> that was it.
Snoop Dogg and called it I'm gonna love you, but Snoop's release was named I wanna fuck you for some reason. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's Snoop Dogg. The the original song is probably what Snoop Dogg put up. But then they had to make it more family friendly because Akon was a lot more mainstream on the radio. Like you think Snoop Dogg is very rarely on the radio nowadays. Um but like Akon was always on the radio, so I assume that's why they did it. I've really fucked this corner. What, like the lyrics are exactly the same as well? I'm having a terrible one. Terrible one. Oh, I just can't wait to get my fucking... I think that's that's another thing I'm going to have to do today, is get the backrest on my chair sorted out. So, that's probably another reason why I should end the stream a little earlier. But yeah, tomorrow um, we'll do some Euro Truck Sim. Monday we'll do more Forza, we'll... Next week, I really do have to push for 12 videos. Because the plan is to potentially, for the 24th, 25th, and 26th, I want to do double uploads. So I want two videos for those days. Um, I know it's not much. Like, it's not going to bring the time down from how long the game's going to take us to complete on YouTube. It's going to be three days shorter. Which isn't a lot when you consider this thing's already fucking long anyways. But I think having some extra content on Christmas is pretty decent because, like, it's Christmas and, you know, people can watch. That's sort of the goal. But it may not happen. I don't know. Not 100% sure yet. You're a penis. Haha. <laughs> I just had sex. And it felt so good, felt so good, a woman let me buy my boots. <laughs> you can't sing the song with a straight face. <laughs> my name is Penneth. Lord Penneth. Yeah, I got a, I got a sort out space on my console. I gotta play God of War Ragnarok though. I've, I think I'm gonna wait for it to come out on PC though, and then buy God of War Ragnarok, Ragnarok and God of War One, like God of War 2018. Play both of them at the same time. Not at the same time, but like play one and then the other one immediately afterwards, and just experience that. Oh, shit! What the fuck's that off of? All hail Lord Penny, the man, the king with the big penis. <laughs> Do you know, I'm kind of glad that the first eight episodes of Forza Motorsport 1 got corrupted and really messed up big time. Because if the first eight episodes didn't, I would have, one, had a terrible font for all the thumbnails. I would have had a terrible font for any of the stuff in the video. And every video would have had music. Which... 
for a viewer experience would be like, oh yeah, a little bit of music. That sounds good. As a content creator, literally quadrupled the time it took me to edit a video. To add music to it. And make sure I was like telling people what song it was so that I didn't have to like listen to the song and then fact check it later. It's sad how Penneth is how Mike Tyson would say penis. Penneth. Oh my god. It's crazy to think about though. I punched that motherfucker in his head. Oh, you penneth! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just showboating, you know? Aphyxia is a go, honestly. Aphyxia is fucking amazing. Dizzy boy! Dizzy! Honestly. It's sad that Dizzy Rascal pretty much just died out though. Like nobody really listens to like modern day Dizzy Rascal. Like it doesn't go mainstream. Like I think there's three songs I know of Dizzy Rascal. This one, The Power. Um, Bonkers and Holiday. You do what you want to, baby. Bum, 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 bum. I don't even know who he is anymore. Honestly, it's so sad. So depressing. But everyone will hear Bonkers and be like, I know that song. Straight away. Like, you'll hear bonkers and it'll be like, bonkers. Everyone knows it. It's such a tune. Oh, this is good. We got some house, like, fucking hard style, like, let's go. <laughs> Party Rock is in the house tonight. I love that they made literally, like, one album. Oh, this is a tune. It's been 10 years since Party Rock album came out. 
Sorry for party rocking, that's it. I'm pretty sure that's what the album was called. Whatever that album was, that came out in 2012. It's 2022. Fuck me, there's so many albums that I listened to as a kid that are come, like, getting to 10 years old. I'm not even midlife, but I feel like I'm having a midlife crisis. Fuck. Fuck. That's annoying. That's so irritating. You have no clue how much that pisses me off. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.